Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the official Android 8.0 Oreo for the Galaxy S7 Edge. You guys remember a couple of days ago that the update for the S7 Edge was accidentally leaked by Samsung and someone actually made a flashable zip file of this software so you can actually install it through a custom recovery by flashing that zip file so I'll be leaving the link down below in the description for that. With Android 8.0 Oreo, Samsung finally brought the true Samsung Experience UI to the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's not running a hybrid or a combination version of the old touch face and the Experience UI so almost all the features of the Galaxy S8 are here. The Galaxy S7 Edge has been truly taken to a whole new PC level. So we're gonna talk about all the new features and of course I will be testing out the performance as well which is the main gain with the Android Oreo update. Now before I get into the features, this is only for the Galaxy S7 Edge, as of now only for the international G935F model. Soon it will be out for the Galaxy S7 as well, the flat screen Forgotten Warrior. All right, let's talk about the new stuff. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is the change look. So the old TouchWiz look is gone and you have the new Experience UI look. So it's uh, the new launcher that we have, the Galaxy S8 and Note 8 and also a bunch of other new phones that came uh, with the Experience UI. So everything is exactly the same, the app drawer, the home screen. Of course, you don't get the infinity wallpapers of the S8 family uh, with the Oreo, but that's fine. Holding on to the home screen, we have the same options. Of course, wallpaper themes with widgets and home screen settings, everything that we have with the Galaxy S8 like the ability to hide application, change the home screen grid, everything is here with the S7 Edge. And it's also extremely fast, I've been really impressed with the performance so I will be doing a speed test, extensive speed test in my next video against the S8 so be sure to stay tuned for that. Now one new change with the lock screen is that when you press on the timer it shows you the second counter as well, it's a small change but I really like it. Moving on you now have the ability to add custom colors to your folder so any color that you want you can do that with this wheel so we have all the colors I'm just gonna set it to this pink and you can see that my folder is now pink now one of the biggest software additions with the Galaxy S8 was the Bixby and it's finally here with the Galaxy S7 Edge so if you swipe to the right you can see we have the Bixby home so uh, sadly the Bixby voice assistant is not here so you do have to rely on Google Assistant which is fine I mean a lot of people prefer Google Assistant over Bixby uh, I mean both are awesome but yeah you don't get the Bixby voice assistant instead you get the Bixby home if I search Bixby in the setting nothing comes up so it's just the Bixby home that has arrived not the actual voice assistant and you also don't get the Bixby uh, vision so uh, apart from this like I said 98% things are here. Going to the settings and checking out the advanced feature we now have the option of dual messenger so it has finally arrived for the S7 Edge. The supported apps will appear here uh, once you install them so Facebook, Snapchat, Skype uh, and maybe Instagram and of course WhatsApp they all will be available here once you install them so you can have multiple accounts signed in uh, at the same time so that's the feature called as dual messenger is finally here i also like the changed look of the settings so instead of a uh, dedicated search button at the corner we now have a full search bar so it's uh, more easier to operate and uh, you have your account information on the side so if you have a samsung account signed in all the info will appear at the top right corner Another big addition to the software is with the edge lighting. So previously we had just this option where you had the ability to turn it off or on, but now we have a bunch of different options. So it says show edge lighting when screen is on, or off or you're gonna have it on always and my favorite one is the edge lighting style so now you can have uh, different effects such as the basic uh, multicolor glow or glitter and at the same time you can set your custom color so you have different options of course available here by default you can make your own custom color and then of course the transparency option is here you can set the opacity of the effect that will appear on the side you do got the option for the width as well if you want to make it thick and more visible then you can have it to 
the full wide option. So now another cool addition is the ability to have list view. So if you open a lot of applications, it's kind of hard to navigate around. So you have the ability to go into list view and it basically cleans up everything. You got camera, you got settings. It doesn't show you the preview of the app. You just have the name of the application. You could just quickly jump into it. And of course you can go into that dual window mode by just pressing this button. So I can open different applications at the same time on the same screens. Now, once you have done the app pair and you go back to your multitasking screen, it's gonna show you the pair information. So I just opened the camera and the Samsung internet app, and now it's showing me that app pair icon and the application information. So I can just quickly press it and go into that dual screen mode. Again, I can use the camera, I can record video, I go into my gallery, while at the same time browsing the internet. It's really nice, you can quickly jump back to your dual app mode, split screen mode. Also, we have some new changes with the always on display. Previously, we had this option in the display area, but now they have moved it completely to the lock screen and security tab. So uh, we have this always on display. Along with that, there's a new option called as clock and face widgets. It's very similar to the Galaxy S8. So face widgets, of course, we have the music control that appears. You can swipe, you can turn it off if you want to, or turn it on. We have this option. And and in the clock style area, we have a bunch of new additions. So we got like four new clock styles. So my favorite one is this. And of course you can have it on your always on display like always. At the same time, you can change its look on your lock screen as well, which you cannot do on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with the Nougat. So you can only play with the always on area, but now you have the ability to change it on the lock screen as well. So we got the full custom wheel. I can pick up any color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the black one so that it stands out more. And as you can see, the time and the calendar stuff has changed to the color black. And at the same time, of course, I can change the lock screen type as well. So I can set different clock style uh, on the lock screen and different on the always on display area. So as you can see, I have a different clock style on my always on display. Of course, the face widget thing is also here. If you have music, you can play that. But when I wake up the display, you can see on the lock screen, I have a different clock style and different color for my calendar and my custom text as well. So this is really good. A huge new customization edition with the always on display. Now we do have a new keyboard as well. So now we also have an update to the Samsung keyboard as well. So we do have a full bar up here, uh, right above this number of keys. We have the emoji, we got the sticker thing going on. And then of course we have the GIF keyboard or GIF keyboard. So you have all your trending GIFs here. You can go into happy, fun, so different categories, different moods. Uh, and it's a really nice addition to this keyboard. I was using like uh, some custom keyboard for this. I think it was like Google keyboard, but now you don't have to do that because this default Samsung keyboard is giving you this awesome option. Of course, the voice integration is right there and you can jump into the setting as well where you have the option to have the high contrast keyboard. So now with the Oreo, they have added three new themes instead of the normal yellow. So we have the black on white and white on blue. So if I turn it on and go into this as you can see it looks pretty cool also in the display area we have the option of block accidental touches it wasn't available here on the s7 edge nougat but now it is more prominent in the display settings so all in all your galaxy s7 edge is pretty much running everything from the galaxy s8 minus the big speed it is pretty fast. Again, I'm really interested in checking out the performance against the S8 and of course all the other phones that you guys will comment. Let me know. And apart from all these awesome software features from Samsung, you do get default Android or your software as well. So if you swipe to the left, you get the option to snooze the notification uh, for some time, 15 minutes, 30, one hour or two hours. And the notification will appear again as soon as the time is done. Also, when you install an application, it's going to show you in real time you <laughs> Uh, the amount of time it will take to install. So the camera UI is exactly like the Galaxy S8 minus the Bixby Vision. When you swipe to the right, you get all your modes. So similar stuff, pro mode, panorama, uh, slow motion. And you swipe to the left, you get all your effects. So yeah, guys, that was a full review of the Android 8.0 Oreo official for the Galaxy S7 Edge. And again, to remind you guys that this was the update that Samsung actually released for a Galaxy S7 Edge. And there was no big 
beta for the Galaxy S7 family, so the Oreo out of nowhere means that it was a ready thing that Samsung had. And again, if you want to install it right now, if you can't wait, then check the link in the description, the XDA forum, everything is there. All you need is a custom recovery to install uh, the Oreo on your S7 Edge. And like I said, it currently works only for the S7 Edge, the international uh, Exynos G935F model. I will be doing my performance testing as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And before I end this video, I want to remind you guys that the giveaway for the Galaxy A8 2018 is almost at the end. If you haven't entered, all you have to do is to subscribe to this channel, give me a follow on Instagram, and then follow me on Twitter. That's where I will be announcing the winner and lastly leave a comment below the winner will be announced on february 20th 2018 so yeah guys i will see you guys in my next video peace out